Nano Nuclear Energy is a company that aims to be the first nuclear fuel business of its kind in North America to be fully vertically integrated. This means it would provide nuclear fuel, transportation, consultation services, and micro-reactors that are more portable, safer, cleaner, and cheaper, all of which are expected to have increased demand in the decades ahead since nuclear energy can contribute to meeting increased energy demand and desire for cleaner energy heading further into the 21st century. Nanonuclear energy can be abbreviated as NNE, which is also the symbol it trades as on the NASDAQ. NNE is currently in its very early stages, so early it is focused primarily on research and optimization during the pre-revenue stage. Let's take a look at this company's plans and how they intend to establish a place in the nuclear energy market, along with how challenges and risks can emerge and be addressed. Nanonuclear energy plans to commercially launch at least one microreactor by 2030. Currently, these are undergoing design optimization and certain initial physical test work to finalize the designs ahead of more involved demonstration work. Zeus is the name of the solid core battery microreactor engineered for safe operation in remote locations that will minimize the need for active intervention. Its modular components fit in standard shipping containers so it can be in operation where traditional energy infrastructure is not feasible or impractical. The prototype is designed to harness thermal energy for direct heat applications or to convert it into electric power. It also has non-electric applications such as hydrogen fuel production, a growing area of interest in the renewable energy sector. Odin is the other micro-reactor designed around the idea of low-pressure coolant that will utilize conventional fuel form with up to 20% enrichment. This helps to minimize required development, testing program schedule, and costs. The proprietary reactor design can handle low-pressure coolant to minimize the stress on structural components and improve their reliability and service life. It will also use a unique reactivity control system design, aiming to have high reliability and robustness through minimizing the number of moving parts. It will also operate at higher than conventional water-cooled reactor temperatures to allow for resilient operation and high power conversion efficiency in generating electricity. The intent is to take maximum advantage of natural convection of coolant for heat transfer to the power conversion cycle at full power and for decay heat removal during reactor shutdown, operational transients, and off-normal conditions. NNE estimates micro-reactor demonstration work will be conducted between 2024 and 2026. Then, the micro-reactor licensing application will be processed between 2026 and 2031, followed by micro-reactors being launched between 2030 and 2031, though as the company readily notes, these timelines are subject to change due to factors such as adjustments in the micro-reactor development plan and uncertainties associated with the licensing approval process. That is why they should be considered as estimated dates. This imprecision is by no fault of the company, but rather the nature of research and development that naturally affects companies during their initial development. A closer goal is a domestic high-assay, low-enriched uranium, H-A-L-E-U, or HELU, fuel fabrication facility to supply the fuel for NNE's own reactors, and the broader advanced nuclear reactor industry in general. The proposed facility is slated to be operational as soon as 2027. HALU fuel has many advantages that improve reactor performance and is required for most advanced U.S. reactors to achieve smaller designs that get more power per unit of volume. HALU will also allow developers to optimize their systems for longer life cores, increased efficiencies, and better fuel utilization. HALU transportation involves producing a regulatorily licensed, high-capacity HALU transportation product capable of moving commercial quantities of HALU fuel around North America, primarily to small modular reactors, micro-reactor companies, national laboratories, military, and DOE programs. Through Nanonuclear, AFT Advanced Fuel Transportation Inc., a nanonuclear subsidiary, is the exclusive licensee of a patented high-capacity HALU fuel transportation basket developed by three major U.S. national nuclear laboratories and funded by the Department of Energy. If developed and commercialized, NNE says the product will serve as the basis for a domestic HALU transportation company capable of providing commercial quantities of HALU fuel. The hope is to have the fuel transportation business in operation by 2026. NNE also plans on providing nuclear service support and consultation services for the expanding and resurgent nuclear energy industry both domestically and internationally. If they are unable to acquire such a business by the end of 2024, they will focus on building their own internal nuclear consultation business in coordination with certain outside academic institutions. Some advantageous use cases of small portable nuclear reactors 
include the ability to provide on-demand power to residential and commercial enterprises. In addition to development projects, emergency response like with natural disasters, which specifically benefit from rapid deployment, replacement, and removal. Microreactors can also supplement microgrids. When designed for a longer core life, microreactors can operate for up to 15 years. Other applications that can benefit from microreactors include data centers, artificial intelligence and quantum computing, crypto mining, military applications, and transportation including shipping, mining projects, water desalination and green hydrogen plants, and space exploration. The new generation of advanced microreactors can produce between 1 and 20 megawatts of thermal energy that could be used directly as heat or converted to electric power. Generating clean and reliable electricity for commercial use or for non-electric applications, such as district heating, water desalination, and hydrogen fuel production, microreactors are a highly adaptable and portable alternative to traditional nuclear reactors. More than 20 U.S. companies are developing advanced reactors. The majority of these designs will require a fuel that isn't yet available at a commercial scale. That void is what the Hallyu fuel transportation business intends to fill. NNE certainly has an ambitious journey ahead, but fortunately it has already started addressing some of the unique issues it faces from being in the nuclear energy industry. One hurdle not in the way of progress is reliance on government funding. While the company will seek grant opportunities in the future, it currently manages with its investors. NNE's leadership team has experience obtaining public and private funding. Their investor base includes a large component of capital raised from nuclear industry professionals who have reviewed their plans, concepts, and technologies, and found the company to be promising enough to invest in. The high proportion of investment from experts in the industry has been an endorsement that has provided investors without a nuclear background with the confidence to invest. Undoubtedly, nanonuclear's new and unproven technology model will require significant additional capital for successful deployment, even with its investor base. This requirement has certainly influenced their decision to diversify operations to try and establish nearer-term revenue streams, which they aim to begin before the anticipated commercial launch of microreactor technology that also needs plenty of additional capital to maintain once operational. Investors must consider the potential of the company alongside its early-stage status in an emerging market with an unproven business model, a new and unproven technology model, and a short operating history, which makes it difficult to evaluate the current business and prospects, and may increase the risk of those invested. The nuclear industry is an industry intertwined with government agencies. The value of access to government and regulatory personnel is essential. Fortunately for nanonuclear, they have already established such contacts that can provide guidance and insights, helping to inform of conventional and unconventional challenges that may arise. With this head start, NNE could be building a competitive advantage in an industry that already has a high barrier to entry, both in terms of technical capability and regulatory approval. With this in mind, nanonuclear must still meet stringent safety and environmental standards, and gaining regulatory approval can still be a lengthy process. Additionally, ensuring the safety of a microreactor throughout its life cycle is paramount. Developing, implementing, and maintaining robust safety systems and protocols are critical challenges, security measures to protect against theft, sabotage, or unauthorized access are also critical for both regulatory compliance and public safety. The political and regulatory landscape can change, impacting the stability and viability of nuclear projects. International agreements and geopolitical factors can also affect nuclear technology access and export. In terms of specific business risk, the cost of electricity generated from nuclear sources may not be cost competitive with other electricity generation sources in some markets. Nanonuclear and the nuclear energy space will certainly be interesting to watch throughout this decade and beyond. For more about the company, check out their website for additional information including useful FAQs about nuclear energy. For more coverage of new businesses, along with stock market and crypto news, please stay tuned.